Hello, uh, this is Max again. Uh, I fell off my bike trying to miss a bus and uh, I broke uh, an elbow. I broke, I fractured my elbow. Uh, so that's why I have a sling. Um, but um, I wanted to mention something that was in USA Today yesterday, an article, uh, This Is Your Brain on Religion. Uh, the forum uh, on, on every Monday uh, in, on USA Today, uh, there is uh, great, great articles about faith and about uh, Christian, not just Christianity, but Judaism, Muslim, Islam, etc. But some of the articles about faith are really, really good. And um, I mean, uh, this was uh, by uh, Andrew Newberg, uh, who uh, associate professor of radiology and psychiatry, who wrote how God rewrites your brain. And, um, and um, research uh, says that um, people who engage in religious activities tend to cope better with emotional problems, have fewer addictions, and better overall health. They might even live longer than those who lead more secular lives. Indeed, many studies document that religious and spiritual individuals have more meaning in life. And... And it's all, also, it's kind of like, it, depending on what God you believe in, if you believe in a, a, a loving God, a forgiving God, a God of mercy, a God of compassion, a God of justice, yes, but, but other things as well, you're more likely to, um, to heal and to get better. Uh, but if you believe in a God who is vengeful, who caused, who gave you cancer, or who gave you uh, the disease you're suffering from, you're less likely to get better from it. And um, like it says, like, like he said, uh, as I've witnessed in the hospital in which I work, when people feel they are, have contacted disease because God is punishing them, such individuals may not follow doctor's orders, keep appointments, or take medications as directed. After all, why try to get better when God is punishing you? Research confirms that people who hold a punitive image of God can compromise their immune systems and psychological health, thus prolonging their suffering and illness. And, I mean, I, I believe, when I am worshiping, and when I am feeling in tune with the Holy Spirit, when I'm feeling in tune with the loving God, with the God who heals this broken body, this broken world, this broken civilization, I feel better. But when I worry that God is a God, <coughs> the fundamentalist worship, <coughs> I start getting anxious. And I worry, <coughs> excuse me, I worry that, that God, I'll, I'll never match up, I'll never be good enough, I'll never <clears throat> be, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not saved, I'm, I'm not going to, those type of thoughts. And then I get anxious, I start feeling sick, I, and so I mean it's, I mean it's the, the what God <clears throat> we're worshiping, and yes, I'm not saying that God is just love, God is vengeance of the wicked as well, <clears throat> <clears throat> but that's not for us to decide. And I mean, another thing in this article I found very, very interesting was a, two quotes. One from Randall Terry, founder of Operation Rescue. I just want you to let a wave of intolerance roll over you. I want you to let a wave of hatred roll over you. Yes, hate is good. Our goal is a Christian nation. We have a biblical duty. We are called by God to conquer this nation. <clears throat> Now I think that's also um, kind of like a lot of parallel um, America to Israel. One, I don't think the parallel is sound. And um, two, if we are the new Israel, then why aren't we treating the poor better? Uh, why, uh, why aren't we, I mean, if, w why is there racism? And, and yeah, there, there was racism in, but by and large, the Jews of Israel were ethnically Jews. But with Christians, you can have Christians of all sorts 
of racial stripes. And another thing, this is by Pat Robertson. You say you're supposed to be nice to the Episcopalians and the Presbyterians and the Methodists and this, that and the other thing. Nonsense! I don't have to be nice to the spirit of the Antichrist. I can, can love the people who hold false opinions, but I don't have to be nice to them. Now, this, first off, he's calling mainline Protestants the spirit of the Antichrist. And I take offense to that. I think a lot of people would take offense to that. And he is a huge mem uh, like a, a prominent member of a Christian denomination. And I just... It's this type of Christianity that is toxic. It is this type of Christian pain. Uh, the big. This is the type of Christianity that uh, leads people to do incredibly awful things. This is the type of Christianity that uh, throw in the Christian identity movement, the KKK. Uh, this is the type of Christianity that um, that leads to wars. This is the type of Christianity that leads to calling threats to firebombing churches you don't like. And it's the type of Christianity that pushes seekers away from the church. And so, I mean, I'd like to talk to Pat Robertson. I mean, yeah, this was 91. Maybe he tempered a little bit. But it's this type of take no prisoners. We multiply because we divide. By Jerry, said Jerry Farwell, type of Christianity that is the worst thing to happen to this nation. They want a theocracy. They, uh, I, I feel. I mean, they want to be like ancient Israel, by um, the religious elite, kind of like Iran, Iran, sort of is now. But then I'm thinking. Okay, then if you do that, would you, um, would you, policies that would hurt the rich but benefit the poor? I don't think so. And, so, those who worship a loving God, those who worship a God where the Spirit works through us and renews people, that's the healthy God. That's the healthy Christianity. Um, and all the negative Christianity is what atheists point their fingers at while focusing on the qualities of faith. They don't focus on that it heals, that 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 it stops our addictions, it makes us better people. When they see Pat Robertson, I don't see Pat Robertson as a better person. I don't see Jerry Falwell as a better person. And I mean, I could say that Pat Robertson is the spirit of the Antichrist. A spirit of hatefulness, divisiveness, cockiness, going against everything that Jesus ta 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 taught us to be in the Sermon of the Mount. But does that mean that I, uh, uh, that, that, that I don't want to be nice to him? No. I mean, the human nature would be if I saw Pat Robertson, uh, I would be angry with him, but I mean, I'd want to just say, why? I don't understand why you're doing this. Why are you so filled with hate? Why are you so... Mm. But, so that's, I guess, what I wanted to say today. God bless.